Okay, so we got this sink level to the ground. And this is the new one. And what do we got there? Just hold the light. Looks like we have 13. Here, let me... You gotta have it level, Dad. It's gotta be 90 degrees from the roller. Okay, 13, 12, and 3 quarters. 12 and 3 quarters, so we need 2 inches. So we need the pipe here to the trap is 2 more inches taller than this part from the top of the sink. Right? So when we put the sink on the bracket, we need 2 inches in order for this to get into here. So. We're going to have to make sure we have an extension piece to go on there. Okay, let's describe some of the products before we start get, get started here. Uh, this coupling here, one and a quarter uh, coupling. It fits on this pipe here. You need two of those, one for this direction adjustment and one for this direction adjustment, which is for the height up and down and the trap from against the wall so we're just in both directions now this one here it's a dollar forty nine dollar forty nine hey mom daddy okay wait a second guys okay the uh daddy. abs solvent Sorry. is right here this is the product i'm using this costs four thirty nine then we had to go buy this was the old grease trap this part here is glued into here and because we can't reuse this because we have to adjust it this way or this way this bracket here is glued into the wall as you'll see later we needed to purchase a new grease trap and what I mean by grease trap is this is the grease trap or the water trap this piece here is glued into the wall, so we had to buy a whole new piece. Now this piece comes with this piece already as a unit. And I believe this unit cost $9.49 for this. And it shows it one and a quarter. <clears throat> then this piece you had to buy separate. It goes into that trap. Comes with a nut and a coupling. This piece here fits into here and then you tighten this up and this piece here goes into there and you got a PVC glue this and screw this nut on tight now the coupling the height from here to here to the sink we're going to use one of these and we're going to use the pipe we're going to put the pipe in there and we're going to cut the pipe accordingly up and down so that this will fit perfectly into the sink the height because every sink every sink's height is different so you're going to want to do this first you're going to want to put the sink on to the wall and then do all these pipe adjustments after you've mounted the sink on the wall because it's easier to measure all this dry fit at all than it is to do it before you get the sink on the wall so and uh let's see here this piece here, um, I forget what I, pay, what I pay for that, but let's see, let's go over here, the uh, pipe, this is 99 cents for this pipe, it's uh, one foot a pipe, and okay, so now we got the receipt, we're going we're gonna, to we purchase some plumber's putty, that costs $3.49, this is going to be used. Right on the bottom lip of that, and that sink that goes into the sink, and that gives you that watertight seal. Uh, we bought a wrench. This is a uh, all-purpose adjustable wrench. It's the thin one to get at that lock nut, and that cost sixteen forty-nine.
And we got some of this. It's called bat Brasso. And that was polish, metal polish. $5.99 for this. That's going to polish up our existing faucets. Get rid of all the crud. And then, let's adjust the camera here and show you the sink. And the sink here, this is, this is a little bit bigger than the one that's uh, already mounted that we took off. And the sink cost $49.99. And the last thing, but not least, I think I got uh, the dream. This piece here, which is uh, this box right here. I took off a brass one. This one's a plastic one. I guess they come in plastic. Uh, home plumber, ABS uh, drain. Comes with the plug option. We can add it to our old tap system. And this one here comes with a nice shiny new surface. All the fit ins, the handle, and there's a bar that goes up and down here. And this piece here costs $18.99. So there's all the purchases for all the products. So if you guys want to do this job, this is what you're going to need to, to do a job like this. So just be prepared to spend some money if you want to uh, get into something like this. So there you go. There's all the products. Okay, so now what we've got to do is these are the old mountain brackets. We need to take these off. We need to find our stud. Now looking at this design, I'm assuming the stud runs across. Stud there, stud there, so we got ourselves a stud finder, uh, here. There we go. Okay, push the button, you're going to push the button, hold it, and you're going to see the stud, the stud right there. Stud there. So that's pretty much it. Now the stud finder can go this way too. So we're going to run it this way. So the stud runs right across here. So you can tell that the people that installed the, the existing sink, because I wasn't here, I bought the house, right? Um, they put a board in across between the two studs. So that's good news for us, so I don't have to drill into the wall or anything. Got a bracket here. Now, so what we're going to do is, the spacing in the bracket and the depth from here to here is wider, so we're going to need to use this bracket, not this bracket. And the good news is, you see the screw holes? They fit perfect here and here. So we can sit this down this like way, that. This way. I'm going to have to take a ha hacksaw. Let's zoom in here and show you what I mean. I got to cut right here. Cut this off and use my coupling. Put my trap in, coupling, and bring it up to the sink height. And this thing's heavy. The sink is really heavy, so you got to have it in a stud. If you don't have it in a stud, it's going to come ripping right out of the wall. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to... Let's get the camera back up here again. There we go. So we're going to take these off here. And then we're going to put this bracket on. So let's get to it. Okay, so now we have the stud, the, the screws off. These are approximately one inch screws. So I'm going to just reuse these. They didn't come. With the, there we go. Just take that off there like that. Put that one off there. We're going to throw these out. Okay, so we're going to grab our ruler. And we're going to measure it between the two dashes. Just like so, you can see that on camera. And we're going to find out that by doing this, I've already measured it, that this hole here is perfectly cut. So if I measure halfway between this hole here, that's centered. So I know that because I've confirmed from edge to edge that this is the halfway point. So they have drilled this hole properly. So I don't need to worry about the edges, measurements on the edges. I can just worry about centering the screw in that hole there. And then I know as long as I match it with the line on the wall, I'm going to be absolutely perfectly centered when I put this bracket in. Okay, so what we did now is I brought the bracket down just a little because this is the support 
for the uh, sink, you're going to need one of these. You just can't have it sit here in that bracket. And that's level again. And I'm going to pre-drill a hole again, pre-drill my holes, and put the bracket back on. Put sink on, and then we can actually get down underneath the uh, adjusting the plumbing. So we're going to dry fit it first, and then we're going to glue it after we've got it all measured. So like I said, this bracket, I had to bring it down just about that much just so it's flush with this. And this holds the weight of the water and that just sits against the sink. And when I put the sink back on, I'm gonna put the plumber putty, that drives, push it up, and then I'm gonna put a bead of uh, silicone, white silicone caulking, so that way the girl splashes up against the wall, the water doesn't trickle down against the wall, it goes back in around the sink area, so. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is, we've got our assembly, our tab assembly. I cleaned it all up with that polish. I'll show you the uh, polish. Okay, so we're going to take some of this stuff, which we did. We're going to put it on our uh, existing faucet. Now, I suggest you test it on a conspicuous space because uh, make sure it doesn't do anything to the finish before you go and do the whole thing. So we got some of that. And we got the faucet. We cleaned it all up. All nice. Put it back together, and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna insert this in here like this, just like that, and then we're gonna go underneath. And uh, let's see here. Remember these? We're gonna screw them underneath, and it's gonna hold the faucet on. And then we're gonna put on our hot water and our cold water line. And uh, so we're gonna get the camera there and show you how to do this. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is you want to put your sink down on the ground. You can do this and you can feed this behind here and do your connections up. Right there. So, we grab our taps. Just like this. And then we're going to put them in here like this. And then we're going to do our connections at the back. Just make sure you hook up. This one's the cold. This one's the hot. But you hook them up right so if it's a lot easier to install it with the sink on the ground and then lift it up and put it on the bracket than it is to try to do it in such a tight space so we're gonna uh, do that right now okay so we're looking at the back side of the sink now and we're gonna take our let's see here let's get our uh, this because it's got a balance in one hand. We're going to take our lock rings, these things, remember we took these off earlier, and we're going to put them like that, and then we're going to take our, our nice fixture, and we're going to insert it on the back, just like so, into the holes. Take our rings. Now I took a Dremel and I cleaned up the threads, so that's optional. You can use a wire brush, whatever. I'm not going to show you how to use a wire brush. You can figure that out yourself. Now these things here should only be hand tight. You shouldn't need a screwdriver like we did before to get them off. Uh, white Teflon tape. Open that up there. Wrap it around the threads. We're going to do one on this side and then we're going to screw on our uh, hot water and cold water. Okay, so now we put the hot and cold water on with the uh, white Teflon tape. Turn the main water on underneath the house. We ran a test to make sure that the hot water is coming out of the hot, cold's coming out of the cold, and we don't have any leaks. So we're looking good when it comes to that. Now we have to measure off this piece and run it in through that drain right there. So we can do that later because uh, 
I'm going for a break right now. I'm tired. The so. drain pipe. Right here. We need to run the ute trap into here. Now here's the problem. I told you this earlier. Here's the U-trap. Now when you put this in here like this. You're gonna notice that's where it ends. It's too short. So we're gonna need to cut this right here. Grab one of these, put it on there, glue it. Get ourselves some extra pipe, cut a little piece out. Bring this out. I'll measure the distance from this pipe right here. This is the drain to here. I'm going to cut a piece, bring it out, and then have the U-trap go down and up into here. Now I have enough pipe here. It comes down far enough that I don't need to put an extension piece in here. So all I got to do is just bring this out from the wall a little more. Okay, we're going to take our new U-trap that we bought. It comes with this piece here already attached. This is we're going to put some uh, glue in there. Cut our pipe to match the, the distance to the wall. Two inches. And then we're going to hold this here. We're going to take this piece here. It comes with a ring. And this here. This screws onto there. We're going to take some of the glue. The stuff's uh, ABS 55V. Take some of this, put it inside of there. Take this, press that in there, and push it all the way down. And then give it a couple minutes to seal. Okay, so we just glued this piece in. Put the glue around there, push it on. And that's in there tight now. This, this piece. This is, uh, has to be glued into the original trap. So, and you're going to take this piece here, put the ring facing this way. I believe it's this way. Don't quote me if I'm wrong, but I think it goes in like that. And then this fit in here presses up against. pipe goes in there, the drain pipe, and as you tighten this, this seals around the pipe. So we're going to take this over to the sink right now. Okay, so we put the piece in here. Just did it up tight, put the piece in there, did it up, this fit perfect, and we're short by this much. I'm going to put this piece here, hook in here. I haven't glued it yet, and I'm going to cut a piece of pipe, put it in here to here. So it fits in right here, and I'm going to twist these two pieces together and glue this, and then glue this. This doesn't need to be glued, this just is tightened on here. This not tights on here. i got to put some putty right okay. in there. i got to go get the piece here. This piece here goes in there like that, and then right in there, you got to line that hole up with the pipe way down there. And then this hole here goes through the bar like that. And then when you pull the handle, it opens and closes just like that. That's wrong. Clip goes in first, turn the bar. And the clip. Uh, this piece here. It's gonna do this, and then I'm gonna cut my little piece of pipe here to here, glue it here, glue it up there, press the two together, and then we should be done. And then I should actually have the sink finished. So let's get at her.
Okay, so I just wrapped some Teflon tape around here. I'm gonna take our, let's be careful, there's a little adapter here. It slides onto here. Just like that. And then you put that in there like that. the nut on. Okay, so we just wrapped plumber's probably around here, and you'll see why when I insert it in the bottom here. You can see the putty, and it presses up against that, I guess the bottom of that sink there. So we're going to take our ring. it on like that. What we're going to do is uh, we're go underneath and tighten that, that nut and that's going to push the putty up against and make it a seal. So I'm going to put the camcorder underneath to show you. Okay, so I just tighten that nut and squeeze the putty right out of here. That putty was in there, now it's all outside. And that's, uh, I'm hoping that's going to give me a watertight seal there. So we'll uh, see when we turn the water on and put Put fluid through there. And then last but not least, we're just gonna put the trap on here, over to here, and then glue this in here and do the nut up there. So let's do that right now. Okay, so now we got the drain in. How we did that is uh let's go under here. You're gonna undo this, pull this out, and then you're gonna Feed this bar in so you get it into the drain. Just like that. And then you're gonna do the, the bolt back up. And I had no leaks underneath, I just gotta sweep sweep that up. You're gonna wanna check. I glued this here. Check for leaks, nothing. Leaks, nothing. Down here, nothing. Tighten this, no leaks here. This is that putty. When I tighten this bolt, it pushes this washer up against here and locks it in with the putty. And there's no leaks here or down here or here. So that's it. And we're just going to turn this over here back. And there you go. This job is done. So I hope this video helped you guys out. Part two of uh, how to install a sink and the plumbing. And uh, so please subscribe, leave a comment. And you guys have yourself a good night.